Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen. I am the mom of two little boys, four year old and a one and a half year old. My four year old is about ready for bed. So we might hear some fussing, might hear some screaming. It's the soundtrack in my life, okay? So today I have a Walmart slash Aldi slash Sam's Club grocery haul for you guys. We actually skipped grocery shopping not last week, but the week before, we get paid bi-weekly. So we grocery shop every two weeks for enough for two weeks and hopefully to stockpile a little bit. So we stocked up a lot today because like I said, we didn't go grocery shopping two weeks ago. So we were in need of some things. So let's go ahead and get on into it. Um, and I will show you guys what came from where as we go along. Um, I did spend $140 at Aldi. I spent $120 at Walmart, so that's $260 right there. And then I spent $6 at Sam's Club. Uh, I work there. And they clearanced out a whole bunch of shrimp, and they just sold it discreetly to the employees for $0.51 cents a bag um, because they were – discontinuing it and I think they were just supposed to throw it away even though it was still within date it has like two years on it and it's frozen shrimp so my store just clearanced it out to 51 cents per and sold it to employees so I was able to buy 13 bags of shrimp for six bucks um there's baby Ira <laughs> he's floating he's in a year out he's a year and a half but very tall <laughs> So anyways, let's go ahead and get started on everything that we bought so I can get everything put away. So we will start off down here with the bigger things. We have one case of Pepsi that is for me, two cases of Coke Zero for my husband, two gallons of milk for the kids and for cooking, and then one case of size six diapers for the baby. All of that came from Walmart. Up here we have a case of stuff from Aldi. They conveniently had these set out, which is nice because we forgot our bags. So it was lovely that they had these taffy apple um, boxes sitting out. And I had my husband with me who was able to carry this giant heavy thing of canned goods, but we needed to stockpile. So, because winter is coming, y'all, I live in Indiana, right in mid-central Indiana, and you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes we have a lot of snow, sometimes we don't. Farmer's Almanac is calling for a lot of snow this year. We shall see. Last few years, we haven't had much snow, but it has gotten very cold. But if you get a ton of snow, it can be hard to get out and get anything. So this is the time of year that we start stockpiling. So we have, there should be four cans of sliced pears. These are fantastic for the kiddos. Um, I'll put two cans of these in a container in the refrigerator so they're easy just to dip out and I don't gotta mess with like, you know, peeling things. Uh, we have, should have, two cans of refried beans. There should be four cans of Great Northern beans. I normally like getting black beans, but they were out. Well, they had some, but they were more expensive. So these were like, I don't know, 50 or 65 cents a can. The other ones were almost a dollar a can and I was not doing that. So we are having white beans and I'd like to try making some white chicken chili. I've never, I've had it and it's delicious, but I've never made it myself. But I thought with four cans of white beans, we can make our own. Um, there should be, I think, four cans of cream of chicken soup. We're gonna be having Thanksgiving soon, so you'll notice that I bought a few things to put back for Thanksgiving, just things that I had a hard time finding last year. So, this is super good for cooking with and nice to have on hand, and I think it was like 50 cents a can. So I should have, I believe I bought four of those. There should be four cans of mushrooms. These are fantastic to add into dishes or, you know, add on top of cheeseburgers or whatever. Two bags of sugar. There should be four cans of pineapple. Some more of my beans, some sloppy joe sauce right here. There should be, oh, there's more cream of chicken. There should be four cans of peaches. We got a thing of breadcrumbs. We just used up the rest of this today, so needed some more. I got four jars of my favorite spaghetti sauce. They finally had some in. This stuff sells so quickly. Sorry about my dog. He wants to be inside, but I do not trust him not to go sniffing through the groceries, so he's outside barking. Um, but anyways, my favorite spaghetti sauce, and since the, since the pandemic hit, it has been kind of hard to find this kind, so I think it just sells really quickly. So we got four jars of that to put back. 
And then I think we got two things of pasta rings for the boy. I like them too. Uh, Levi's hit or miss. Sometimes he will eat them, sometimes he won't. Ira always likes them. So he's got a couple to put back just in case. Uh, we got two things of biscuits. We have a jar of jelly. We were about out. The boys have really taken into wanting to eat toast and jelly in the morning. So we were running out of jelly. We also got some strawberry jelly because Levi requested it. So I'm going to put all this away and we'll move on to the next batch. Okay, we got more Aldi finds. We've got four loaves of honey wheat bread. I do like the Walmart honey wheat bread better from the Great Value brand. However, this is a little bit cheaper, only by a few cents, but I knew we were doing a pretty big stockpile and I wanted to save as much money as I could. So uh, these were like 85 cents a loaf and the Walmart ones are 98 cents a loaf. So you're talking like a 10 cent difference, which doesn't sound like much, but we saved 10, 20, 30, 40 cents, which adds up in the long run. It doesn't feel like it does, but I know that if I bought all of my stuff from Walmart, girl, I'd have spent, who, I don't know, $400, a lot. So <laughs> we bought as much of Aldi as we could just to save money because Aldi is typically cheaper. Um, so we got some cereal for Levi, this is what he picked out, chocolate puffs, um, fruit snacks, which have already been busted into. They um, have a ju juicy burst, so they got like little juicy things in the middle, kind of like a gusher. Um, from Black Forest brand. We got a bag of Clancy's White Cheddar Popcorn. Um, our kids could not wait to open this. So on our trip between Aldi to Walmart and on our trip from Walmart to home, they put a hurting on that bag of popcorn and also a hurting on the bag itself. So I'm gonna put this in a Ziploc bag so that it does not go stale. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this, but we picked up one thing of Sloppy Joe sauce. We already have ground beef at home, so I did not pick up any ground beef today. Levi was pretty insistent we needed to get this. He has been wanting to try it, and so we finally decided to let him get um, this Fancy Pants yogurt. So hopefully he likes it, and it's not going to be a habit. <laughs> I doubt we buy this again for a while. But um, they got Oreo, and they've got M&Ms. And then underneath of that, we've got all of our regular yogurts. Again, all of them are for Aldi, and I just got strawberry and vanilla. Okay, so far everything I've showed you guys is Aldi and this is a continuation of Aldi stuff. My son is in the basement helping my husband with laundry. I think you can probably hear him giggling. So just letting you know what you're hearing. Um, so we've got some craft singles for the boys. They love this stuff. They live on cheese sandwiches, grilled cheese sandwiches. They wanna eat that all the time. Um, my son, instead of getting string cheese, wanted to get a block of cheddar cheese to snack on. So, you know, we can slice it. He can snack on it. It's actually a little bit cheaper, so we'll see how well he likes that. Um, being a mild cheddar, I'm sure he'll like it. If it was a sharp cheddar, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so, bottle of ranch dressing, a thing of crackers, the whole wheat crackers. These we love and have not seen in a hot minute. So, this one is smoked Gouda. It is their specialty selected or specially selected macaroni and cheeses. So, we got one smoked Gouda here. And then we've got a macaroni and, sorry, they're all macaroni and cheese. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, this one is truffle and whatever that word is, mushrooms. <laughs> and then we also have a pesto. They are all, well, I should say these two are super good. We've also had their sun-dried tomatoes, which they did not have today. Um, and then the smoked Gouda is new, but we like Gouda cheese. So pretty excited to give that a, a try. Some... Caesar croutons. Not sure why I bought this because I didn't buy any lettuce, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, some uh, stuffing. This is for Thanksgiving. There should be two of these floating around here somewhere. Uh, we got some cooking spray. This one is extra toasty cheese crackers. You're supposed to be like a cheese it So this is a new one for us. We've never tried the extra toasty. We've, we've had this brand of cheese it before and they've been good, but interested to see how these taste. Um, large thing of cottage cheese. I like to eat this with pineapple. I've also found it's pretty good with peaches too, but pineapple is still my preferred way to eat it. They are mayonnaise because we were out. Yes. We're getting. Oh, we're getting. We're going to the bathroom tonight. We got a bag of chicken nuggets. There should be two of these. Another one floating around here somewhere. Um, a thing of frozen raviolis. I've not had these in a long time, and they're super tasty. And then there are two, whoa, everything just fell off. 
There are two cheese pizzas for the boys. They like having these for easy lunches. Okay, we are still working on all these stuff. I will let you know when we switch. So here's that second bag of chicken nuggets. We've got a bag of meatballs and we have a pork butt roast. Um, I've had these before, but I don't remember how I cooked it. So we'll have to look up a recipe for that. I've been seeing recipes that require ranch seasoning mix. So I thought I'd pick one up to put on hand just in case one of those recipes suit my fancy. Maybe we'll do something with this and some carrots and potatoes. We shall see. We have lots of cheese because we were pretty much completely out of cheese. And with two little ones, we go through cheese like crazy. So we got a sharp cheddar. Not my preferred, but they didn't have a whole lot of options when it came to sliced cheeses. And then we have a provolone. So it was either get two provolone or get a cheddar and provolone or get two cheddar or get some pepper jack. And pepper jack's okay, but not my favorite. Moving on from that, we have some sharp cheddar shreds i'm going to pop this in the freezer because with the holidays coming on oftentimes you need sharp cheddar cheese for recipes so i'm going to keep that back towards thanksgiving we have a thing of shredded mozzarella we've got two colby jack cheeses these are just good for topping things uh, my husband picked this out i'm sure he has plans they're little graham cracker pie crust but they're tiny i think it's a pack of six so we shall see what he does with those. Levi insisted on a bag of marshmallows. They're like 85 cents, so we indulged him. Probably a little too much. Um, if you're wondering about this, my husband had to go away for work, and he brought back all the hotel coffees, and I'm going to give them to my parents. We are those kind of people that clean out a hotel room. We're like, if it's getting paid for, I'm taking all the soaps, all the coffees, all the teas, I'm bringing it home because you paid for it. <laughs> so I'm going to give those to my parents because we don't drink coffee. So we got a chewy fudge brownie. These are just nice to have on hand when the mood strikes. Um, some butter flavored popcorn. Fun fact, if you have not tried it, you can actually make popcorn in your air fryer. Our microwave actually went out on us. We have not replaced it yet. We're not really missing it. So the only thing we noticed is like, hey, how are we going to pop our popcorn? So, and I, I know you can buy individual popcorn kernels. I probably should have done that, but this was cheaper. So I just open up the bag, pour the popcorn kernels into my air fryer and cook them for like 10 minutes and they pop up just fine but it cooks all the salt and butter flavor out so you do have to add that back in I did buy some butter flavoring and I'll show that to you guys when we get to it it's uh, with the Walmart stuff and then this one I can't remember if I showed you or not but it's just a cheesy skillet dinner with chicken and broccoli just a super easy meal to have on hand should we need something super quick and easy to make okay folks this is the rest of the Aldi stuff so we have two things here of applesauce both the boys have really been enjoying this lately so i thought i'd get two jars because we're going through like a jar a week <laughs> thing of pickles i went through like a super snacky pickle phase y'all have those where you just like want the pickles and then you're over it but you know we're out of pickles now so they're nice to have on hand when you want them um and they keep for a while so and then we've got some cooking oil needed that We've got some tricolor rotini pasta. We have some variety pack of oatmeal. Winter is coming, super delicious for warm breakfast and super easy. My children are lame and won't eat oatmeal. If you don't eat oatmeal, you're just lame. You're wrong, it's delicious. Didn't know you are coming here for personal insults, did you? Uh, we got some taco seasoning mix because we were just out. Some minced onion, I love cooking with this stuff. I like the flavor of onion I do not like big chunks of onion so this is just a perfect substitute if you're like me and you like the flavor but you don't like big bites of it this will do the trick some macaroni cheese because Levi was just asking for it and it's like 35 cents so I was like whatever throw it in and then some more of that specially selected macaroni cheese the truffle and uh is that what it is? I don't know. It's delicious though. Um, we have another thing of chicken stuffing for Thanksgiving and some more fudge brownies. And then I know in that vlog I did not long ago, if you watched it at the very end, I had like a mini Aldi haul. I bought this because I've been wanting to try this chocolate chip brioche forever. And I told you guys it was like eating white bread with chocolate chips and I would not buy it again. Well, here we are buying it again, not for me, but for the children. They really like it toasted with butter. They loved it last time. 
I think it's like eating white butter chocolate chips, but they are all about it. So I went ahead and got that for the boys because they were just wanting it. Um, some pretzels. I recently got some beer mustard and it's super good with pretzels. So needed some more for dipping in my mustard. And our last thing from Aldi is a bunch of bananas. So on to Sam's Club. Okay, so from Sam's Club, this is all that I bought today. But like I said, I spent like $6 and some change. Rounded up to seven bucks. I, like I said, I work there and they are discontinuing, at least at my store, um, this particular shrimp, the Aqua Gems. And then, oh, that one is a little open there on the edge. Um, and then they are discontinuing the Morning Harvest. Um, and so what they were supposed to do, even though they're perfectly within date, this one has until January of next year. And this one has on it, like, I don't remember where the thing on it is, but it's like 2022. Like, it's got like two years on it. So I'm not really sure what was going on with this or why they're discontinuing it. Could be getting new packaging. Who knows? I don't work that department. But they were supposed to throw it all out. So, and I only mention that because if you are an employee or if you are a customer, they're not going to give you this deal. Uh, this was six strictly for employees. That's one nice thing about Sam's Club is that they take care of their employees. Um, and this is one of the little benefits that they'll give you every, every now and then is if something super duper gets clearanced out, sometimes they'll just set it aside specifically for employees. Um, and that's only because this was discontinued and supposed to be thrown away. So they could not actually sell it to customers. So... Don't go to your Sam's Club asking for this. You're not going to get it. They're going to tell you no. Just making sure you are aware. Unless you're an employee. This could be happening. You can ask your store if you work there. So I bought an entire case of this. Um, I got 10 packages for 51 cents each on this. And then they had three of these. And it was also 51 cents a piece. Um, these are already pre-shelled. As you can see from this guy who fell out of the bottom, I would normally be concerned with this, but I bought a completely unopened case, so it's just something wrong with the bag. I don't know, but we're eating shrimp tomorrow for dinner, so we'll pop that guy in there and stick it back in the fridge to continue thawing out for dinner tomorrow. And then these still have the shells on them, but they're supposed to be easy peel. Uh, we don't normally buy shrimp because shrimp is hella expensive. I know that if you live along the coast, it can be a lot cheaper, but living in the middle of the Midwest, <laughs> as, as I'm sure you can imagine, we don't got a lot of shrimp around here. I mean, I reckon if you want to go hunting around in some creeks, you can dig up some mud bugs, otherwise known as crawfish. Crawdad, crawdads, crayfish, crawfish. You get my, my drift. Otherwise, you know, the kind that come out of the ocean, we don't have those around here. Sometimes you get hella cheap corn, because we grow a lot of that, but you do not get cheap shrimp around here. So this is probably a $13 bag, and this is probably close to it as well. At least somewhere in the $10 range. They're not cheap. So to be able to get 13 bags of shrimp for like just shy of $7 was pretty exciting. And so we are well stocked on shrimp, my friends. Okay, we are moving into the rest of our Walmart buys. So I've got two cans of cranberry, cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving. Um, I've got two things of Heinz roasted turkey gravy also for thanksgiving these two things last year i could not find those i had to make my own homemade chicken gravy which worked um but this is just easier and you know when you're cooking a whole thanksgiving dinner whenever you can make something a little bit easier i'd like to do that and then these i did find them last year but they were very hard to find so i'm just gonna have these put back and ready to go yeah. thank you betty thank you can you go put that in a black trash Okay. And if you want to go look at that magazine, it's full of toys. Oh, let me see that really quickly. Is that, what is that? Yeah, go put that in a black trash, please. Okay. I do that. And can you put that in a black trash, too? Okay. And then if you want to go look at that magazine, it's full of toys. You want to go check out that magazine? It's got all kinds of toys in it. Go see what you want for Christmas. It's the Target toy book. We got some sriracha because the kind we have on hand is going bad and my husband and my husband is has a recipe in mind that he needs sriracha for so we needed a new thing of it grand we could go for a much smaller bottle but that was the smallest bottle they had yes there is a hot wheel here there is a hot wheel here this is for baby ira but he is already in bed and doesn't seem to care so we'll let this one have it you want that hot wheel? Yes. Or is that what you're saying you want for Christmas? Yes. 
we'll, we'll have to see what Santa Claus brings you. You have to circle lots of things in, in the Target book, and we'll see what Santa Claus brings you, okay? He brings me Hot Wheels! We shall see what he brings you. That's the Hot Wheel we got for baby Ira. Kind of neat looking. But he can go play with it. It's fine. It is a good wagon! Can you put that in the trash, please? Thanks. Thank you. Sorry about all the shaking. I was putting my tripod down. So husband wanted some eggnog. I did not know they had that out already. <laughs> um, he also got some water flavorings. I'm not much for these, but he Mommy likes them. But my husband likes these, and that one likes the water flavoring. So we got two sweet teas, and then they also picked out a grape. Give me the and then they had some gloves on sale. These were the only ones they had, and gloves can be hard to find. So. Um, these will fit both the boys. It might be a bit big. It might be a bit big for the baby. So we went ahead and picked up some gloves since they had them on hand. Um, so these will definitely work for Levi. He already has a few from last year, but he's getting into that age where I'm sure he will start losing gloves, especially now that he's in school. So it'd be nice to have put back. And I think they might fit Ira. They might be a little small. I'm not really sure. Regardless, <laughs> here's that butter flavoring that I bought for the popcorn. So we'll see how that works out. We got a thing of whipped cream because we have been enjoying this on yogurt. Some French onion dip to go with our carrots. I've not showed those to you yet. We got some pull-ups back here for Levi for nighttime. A whole mess of pizza Lunchables because both the boys love them. Um, I think two of these are a cheese cracker Lunchable for the baby because he likes those. Yeah, right there we got two of the chicken and cheese because Ira likes those. And then the rest of them are pizza because Levi and Ira both like the pizza. Levi's picky, he won't eat the cheese crackers. <laughs> and then this just looked good, and it was like 95 cents, so. So anyways, this looked super good, and we thought we'd try it out, so it was like 95 cents. Um, they also had a jalapeno one and a spicy Cheeto one. Um, I think jalapeno would be good, but I don't think the kids would like it, so we just got this one to try. We'll see how that works out. And then we have a big old bag of chicken back here. This is really the best price I'm seeing on chicken i looked at some at aldi and they wanted five dollars for a two pound bag so this was a five pound bag for ten bucks so i definitely had the better buy somebody's going through that target book and making out his christmas list <laughs> i just thought it was cute i had to share it so we're down to like our last little bit from this grocery haul. So I'll go ahead and show that to you right now. Um, and I just wanna say thank you so much if you stuck with me to the very end. With the power of editing, it probably won't be nearly as long as what I've been going for. But like, y'all, I started at six and it's now seven. We've been at this for like an hour or more. Not really, not really sure. So let's go ahead and show you guys the rest of this and we can wrap up this video. Okay, we got 18 eggs. One case of strawberries. These are super tasty with bananas for breakfast in the morning. Chop them up and put them in a bowl together. Bag of carrots, bag of apples. Uh, my husband picked this up, Buffalo Ranch. Never tried it, we will see if it's any good. And then yum yum sauce, y'all this stuff is amazing. So I'm thinking at some point we'll do up some shrimp, shrimp fried rice and use some yum yum sauce. That would be super tasty. Okay, you guys, so that is everything for my grocery haul. I hope you did enjoy. This was like a mega grocery haul for us. This is a lot more than we normally buy. My pantry and fridge are insanely full. Insanity in there. Insanity, okay? My pantry equally stuffed. My freezer took some finagling to get everything in. But boy, does it feel good to have a nice stockpile. So when winter comes, we will be prepared. Um, so anyways, that's everything for me. If you are new here, I wanna say thank you so much for clicking on my video and checking it out. I do a lot of lifestyle mommy vlogger type content. So maybe you'll check out my channel and see if there's anything else you'd like to watch. If you've been here for a long time or a while or a little bit and you've subscribed to me already, I just want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me and supporting my channel and supporting my family. It really means a lot to us. So that's going to be it for this video today. Thank you again for watching and I hope to catch you in my next one.